Okay, we got a few. Um, I, I love your insight on these events that are coming up in the Bayrada district uh, this uh, weekend uh, and some other events as well. We're into, would you believe it? We're into the last few minutes of the show uh, now. Uh, was there anything you wanted to squeeze in as well, Philomena, that we haven't yet? Um, no, I think uh, the, the accents on words, I don't, I'm not sure if we have already, because I remember that we, uh, it was Andy, Andy that uh, once asked about the different accents on the words. And I'm not sure if we had had time um, to to speak about that, or I'm not sure. But uh, I, I, we can go through in eight minutes. We can we can go through that if you want. Sure. <laughs> yeah, ac accents always good. I got uh, Pam to send me her keyboard picture um, mm -hmm. the other day because she's she's um, changed her keyboard so she can actually print yes. out the accents as well. Um, I want to ask you something about that because um, when I when I send a message to a Portuguese person, I really like to make sure the accents are on there. How bad, how harshly might they be judging me um, if I don't put the accents on on the um, on the words that I'm sending in well, a text? Well, so, sometimes if you don't put an accent, it is a different word. It becomes <laughs> another word. <laughs> well, that could be difficult. Thing, for says. example. Well, for example, yeah. just a very, very, very simple example. These two words. Okay. Uh, let's uh, get those onto the screen. Give me a moment and I will. Mm -hmm. So, esta mm -hmm. esta. Um, okay. Esta versus esta. Yep. Okay. Esta versus esta. Okay. So, with, without or with the accent it makes a difference, right? Yeah. Because esta without the accent is this in the feminine way, okay? And mm. ishta is the verb to be, is, or it can be also you are if it's formal. So um, so you could say, esta canção é muito bonita, this song is very, very beautiful, or um, a canção... Está... <laughs> Está muito mal cantada. The song is very badly sung. Oh. <laughs> so, so you 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 have esta and está, um, and it's completely different with or without the accent, right? Mm -hmm. Esta is this and está is. Okay. And you, I, I think it's good form, though, isn't it, to try and get the accents on? I mean, I sent you a message last night, didn't I? And, and I was careful to, obviously, with my hola bon, bon, bon noite, um, and then ate amanya. And I forgot the squiggle on the amanya. I got all the rest of it right. And <laughs> yes. I felt obliged to, to yes. come back with you and do it correctly. <laughs> Okay. Yes, and then you you have sent another one with. <laughs> yes, I did. I did. I don't like to, I don't like Portuguese people to think I don't care about this. Uh, well, but, Japan, uh, also, um, you manya and manya is is also something else. But <laughs> oh, okay, all right, yeah, yeah there you go. But, but underlining uh, the need for. I'm going Portuguese to see style. what. Uh, yeah, you just yeah. Yes, you James, know, a big just, fan of the accented vowels, that, um, and the rest they tell fine. us <laughs> at there you have put the accent on at there. <laughs> yes, yes, good. Um, how, they tell us how yes. to pronounce the vowel yes. and which yes. syllable on yes. place emphasis. They're very helpful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's right. Anything else you want so, to say um, on, on vowel on, on accents? I think we've got a bit of a lag. Uh, no, I mean. Uh, <laughs> the the accents, of course, you can have the the usual acento agudo, which is the accent to your right, uh, like está, the one on está. <laughs> not, not easy to do. So, okay. Yes. <laughs> so uh, the accent uh, to to your right uh, is the acento agudo, and that is um, it makes the the vowel an open vowel, like está. You yeah. see, you you have to. The other one, without the accent, it's esta, uh. The vowel is uh, the a, uh, esta. But when you have the accent, you have to pronounce ishta, ishta. So ah, uh, not uh. Okay. Uh, so it opens the vowel. The the accent opens the the vowel. You have, for example, café. You, you have to open the A, right? Uh, but, for example, if you want to say um, a coffee shop or 
It's cafeteria. Cafeteria. So the cafe, you say fu, but then if you have cafe with an accent on the e, it must be the open air. Cafe. Okay. Yep. okay. So then the the accent also tells you where the, the stress syllable is all the time. So for example, you know that the general rule is you stress the syllable that is before the last general rule, but there are some exceptions as, as always. Oh, so, yeah. um, but if you have an accent like in uh, machina, you say machine machina, you don't say machina, right? It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be machina. You have the accent on the I, on the A, so it ma, machina. So you stress that part. Then, <coughs> sorry, <clears throat> then the other accent to the left, which is called accento grave, um, that is also, of course, the stress, but it's always to do with a contraction of two words, a preposition and a, a pronoun or, or a, um, a, a determiner. So, um, uh, the 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 ac the a ah, for example the a a with an accent to the left i can put it here okay so i'll pop that across in just a moment yep okay if you if we have time let's see okay okay so the the a with an accent to the left it's actually two ways together uh, the a plus a so for example when you say eu vou a farmácia I'm going to the pharmacy. So the first A is to, and then the second A is the. And if you want to say, I'm going to the pharmacy, you have to join both A's and you put an A with the accent to the left. That okay. is a contraction of the preposition to with the article the, right? So to the. Um, so it, sounds that, like, so it sounds like you need to go to the pharmacy if you've contracted your preposition. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> yeah. And then um, you have the hat on some words. You have the acento circunflexo. 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 Acento yep. circunflexo. Uh, which indicates a closed vowel. Um it's also the stress, of course. Every, every accent uh, tells you where the stress of the word is, but it also says that it is a closed vowel. Um, mm. For example, you have, uh, the, you have the word tem, but then you have the word tem, right? You have both words, tem and tem. Um, so... The, the singular and the plural of the verb to, to have. So okay. he, he, he or she uh, has and they have. Okay. Um, yes, I always for the masculine nouns, but because I was speaking about the accents, I, I didn't speak about the masculine because I was just referring to the accents. So, tem versus tem is uh, he or she has or they, they have or you have in the plural. So the 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 accent circumflexo uh, makes um, a closed vowel. So tem and because it's nasal as well, because of the the m, it, it's a nasal that is double. Let's say tem. It's closed mm -hmm. and, and nasal. So tem. Yep. Um, then you have the till, uh, the snake yes. on 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 the, the a, uh, yep. which is a, a nasal a nasal um, sound. Like, for example, mão, uh, mão, irmão, garrafão, uh, yeah. estação, right? Uh, yeah, don't get, don't get confused because you could end up dancing with an old lady in a supermarket. Macarena. <laughs> hey, Macarena. <laughs> and then to finish, just to finish with the, the accents, you also have, well, it's not an accent, but it's also a cedilha, cedilha. Oh, yes. Um, yeah. For the sound of the s, like the s, uh, okay, so uh, like a sucker. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. Very helpful, everybody. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. feijões. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like in a sucker, for example, to make the uh, when you have a c, uh, 
uh, next to an A or an O or a, uh, or a U, if you want the sound S, you have to put a cedilla. So, because if we had an S between the A and the U, it would be the Z sound. Remember, the S between two vowels, it would be Z. So, um, this is a suka with the sound S. Okay, yeah. brilliant. A lovely quick guide to Very access. quick uh, insight of <laughs> if you play it at one and a half, if you play it at one and a half speed like Pam does, it's even quicker. Right. <laughs> if you could bear with us for a little bit longer, um, uh, we've yeah. got a lovely picture of goats uh, in um, mm. Central Portugal. Look at that. And I think the way she is goats and sheep. Is, Goats and sheep. One more snack on the way home. There, the goats <laughs> love. Eating. Oh yes, the goats. They the goats. They jump everywhere. They they can go everywhere. Can be very naughty. Now, pratus in Alcabasa. Just so you know, fish and chips are back at pratus. That's a, mm. a lot of people have that as a favourite. That looks good, doesn't it? Two lovely big bits of cod there. Stop it. Be still, my beating stomach. Right. Um, in um, let's, We've got about half a dozen of these. Things to do over the weekend. Uh, a great festival uh, at the new festival ground, says Bag Andy. Festa in Mal. There we go. We can, we can uh, work with the accents that we've just learned about. So Malia Pal, uh, Rico there. That's from the 14th to the 21st of this month. Uh, then we move on to the walk and run in Anadia. In Bagada, of course, as well. Um, that's the um, the first one uh, there, by the look of it, of the year. Uh, Festa de San Gonzalino. This is an important one, isn't it? Where they're throwing the, um, the the baked goods off the roof of the church at the poor people, which seems a bit unkind on first hearing that, but it's actually so that people can eat. Um, the 10th to the 15th of January of this month, Festa de Gonzalino. Um, festival in Otero do Bajo from uh, Anadir as well. <laughs> Another San uh, Gonzalo festival there, and you can visit Korea and the Thermal Park while you're there. Korea, not Korea, free cycle racing. There's a massive velodrome, isn't there, near Anadir? This is a big deal. A lot of people come from all over the world to go to this track here. That's the Anadia National Velodrome. There are all sorts of wonderful events, sporting events with two wheels happen there. Um, and a dinner there, communal dinner in uh, Oish uh, de Bairo in Bairada as well, and a jantar there. That looks good. 12.50 ahead, 8 p.m. Saturday evening. Oh, I like the sound of that. That's near Korea as well. And these are all on the Gumper map. And the last one for you for this weekend. Festa in Picotto, Bairada. And uh, who's that in aid of? I'm not sure exactly there, but that's the 15th of January anyway with a fantastic local band. The locals love them. Santo Amaro really Amar do Picoto. Uh, Santo Amaro do Picoto there. Definitely worth swinging by if you're in the area. Andy, you legend, thank you for putting these on the Gumper map. Thank you for uh, your lovely service to the community with your videos and the events. Whatever you're doing this weekend, have a bon fin semana and we'll see you on Monday. Bon um, any last man. words uh, from you? Uh, thank you, Philomena, from Gemini and Fabuloso, Filomena. Muito obrigado. <laughs> the squire there. Last word to you then, Filomena, before we go. Bom, desejo um ótimo fim de semana a todos e feliz ano novo. Beautiful. Pam, 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 pam. Pam, 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 Do it all together, everybody. Take care, Filomena. Thank you very much. And bye for now. Bom fim de semana. Tchau. Tchau. In Portugal, there's a YouTube show Full of fun facts you need to know Carl brings a bell and a member show To the GMP Morning Show Featured guests will come and they will blow your mind The audience will do so in kind the little vanity mixed with some insanity on the morning show with GMP good morning Portugal and I'd like to welcome you to another fantastic day hey you gumpers <laughs>